So hi everyone, I'm Hayley Hubbersty, Chair at HDO, and we're thrilled to welcome you to HDO's Virtual Congress 2020. So we have two whole days of packed content, so please take a look around the site. We have a host of booths in the exhibition area. Each session during Congress will have time for you to ask questions and have those answered at the end, so simply type those into the chat or Q&A section. But now is time for our first session with our first speakers. It's HDU's founder, Matthew Ellison and BJ View, and our executive director, Jenna Halman, to share with you all what's happening at HDU and the celebration of 10 years of HDU. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Hayley. Appreciate that. And yeah, I My echo. I uh, was oh. diagnosed with entities when I was seven years old. And up until that point, my life was, was normal. Um, but then out of the blue, they, my dad didn't know he was at risk. And then, boom, he was diagnosed with, with HD when I was seven and he was 40. Um, and there wasn't a lot there for me. Um, so my, my mom and dad had had options for services. They had, you know, doctors, et cetera, et cetera, and support groups. But there wasn't anything for me as a young person growing up in a family with HD, um, or pretty much next to nothing. And that was a problem. And what I realized was that that wasn't just me, because I was speaking with young people all over the world, and that was a problem everywhere. So therefore, that was the, that was the start point for the idea of HDEO as an organization. and attending HGO's uh, Virtual Congress 2022. Um, I am Matthew Ellison. Um, usually I quite introduce myself as the founder of HGO, but because BJ's here today, I'm going to call myself the co-founder. Um, and um, I'd like BJ to introduce himself now while he's here. Yeah, hey everybody. Uh, great to be here. Um, talking with you today, Matt, excited to, to have some conversation with you to talk about really the history uh, of how HDO started. You know, sometimes people think that organizations just happen out of the blue, but you know, this was 12 years to get to this point and it was, uh, it was a lot of effort from a lot of people. And uh, I've just been, you know, blessed to, to meet you, Matt, back in, I think it was 2009 for the first time. And, uh, and really what, when you planted that idea of HDO in my mind, uh, I knew something had to be done. So I'm just uh, lucky, blessed to have met you and really just to be a part of this ride for the last 12 years. Well, yeah, I can only agree that you're very blessed to have met me, BJ. Uh, <laughs> no, likewise, likewise. Um, so for those who don't, who don't know, I mean, we're celebrating HDO's 10th anniversary today, which is just fantastic. Um, uh, but myself and BJ were kind of the first two who who started working on the idea of HDO essentially, um, and that was about twelve years ago. Uh, back when we were young ones, we're both now in our thirties. Unfortunately, it's downhill from here, BJ. Um, so, from, from my perspective, um, for those who don't know, uh, my father had Huntington's disease. Um, he passed away in two thousand nine, and BJ. Yeah, uh, similar to Matt, my mom had HD. Uh, I'll just go into a little quick background on, on getting introduced to Matt and, and the support that I felt as a young person. You know, we were told at a young age, you know, eight or nine, that HD was in our family. We didn't know everything. This was, you know, in the, in the mid-90s. And um, my mom encouraged, this is a picture of my mom on the, 
on the left hand side of your screen. She encouraged us to get involved. So we had, you know, a lot of years holding fundraisers, being advocates in the community for the Huntington Disease Society of America. Um, and, and that was my support. And, and when I met Matt and he talked about, you know, the need for others, I realized that not everybody has, you know, we, we had this event called the Hoopathon and the Hoopathon was what I needed, but I realized everybody didn't have that. So my, my thought when, when Matt planted the idea of creating an international organization, it was, you know, looking at all the others out there who, who didn't have what I have and tried to help them get that. So that's a little bit more of my background, but Matt, I'll, I'll kick it back over to you. Yeah, um, essentially, we met in 2009, um, just kind of randomly at an event in Vancouver, the HD, big HD event. Um, and then, um, well, I don't think I, I spoke to BJ at that point, because I think BJ was giving a you talk and I, I, was too, I was too shy to introduce myself to him, but I, I, I messaged him afterwards like a little shy one. <laughs> um, he, he hit up, but, he hit, uh, hit up the DMs, which I don't think that was a term back in 2000, uh, 2009, but no, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we, you know, time went by again. And then, um, after my dad passed away in 2009, I started kind of thinking, um, about my life and going back and I was looking at like the impact of HD on me as a teenager and it was catastrophic. Um, and then really just seeing that there was no no services uh certainly at the time in my country here in england there was very little um and then when i was fortunate enough to meet bj in vancouver and um, when i met bj there i also met other people there in different countries um and it was very clear that that this was a global issue that young people were not getting services globally and that was something that okay we went away with this and, and eventually we came up with with the hdo how it is now and it launched in yeah, 2012 man, it. it took some time didn't it yeah it did i mean i remember you know there was there was two years of prep for hbo you know raising money getting buy-in you know the amount of time that that you put in i think before hbo was even an organization to build out the website and i think that's what we realized we did a survey we sent the survey out to young people around the globe and everyone's like yes we need this and the most important piece I remember people saying is we need education. You know, we're, we're Googling Huntington's disease and all this crap comes up. And, uh, you know, if you look at the HDO website today or even what it was 10 years ago, um, you know, it took a ton of time and effort. And Matt, you were, uh, you, were, you were the engine to build that website and to get it launched. And it was the place for people to go. It still is the place for people to go. And that was really that, that core of what HDO offered in, in 2012 when, uh, when we launched. Yeah, and just set up by young people for young people. That was the tagline we used at the very beginning, wasn't it, as well? And, and and it was very much the case, you know, there was just a team of us, not just myself and BJ, we had other young people helping us as well. Um, you want to go to the next slide, uh, Jenna? Yeah, so here's <laughs> here's, here's some, some nice pictures. Um, yeah, so I like I like the uh, Disney one, actually. It was one of my favorite ones. Um, yeah, did we get... Um, some, uh, Mickey wearing HDO was it did we get that I think we did right <laughs> yeah I think we did I think what this yeah. slide encompasses is you know we put a lot of time and energy into it and you know the the first big event after the website was Matt we brought you on as a full-time employee and without doing that you know the, the work sometimes that nonprofits can't get done if you don't have somebody focusing on it and I think you know Matt having you on board I think it was probably 20 2011 um full-time no, springboarded 2013 actually 2013 all right yeah i guess Close it couldn't have been before sorry 2013 i don't know what year it is today but um <laughs> it, it was it was you coming on board full-time and giving hdo the life it needed you know answering the emails reaching out to young people and uh and i think what that then brought us is is we ended up hiring a youth worker many of you might know chandler swope who came on we started doing camps Camps brought us uh, an executive director, uh, Kat Martin. Many people know and love Kat. And that really springboarded HBO the for slide, all the programs. And... Do we have another slide, sorry? I think we'd have one with Camp, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, I mean, we started really, yeah, we only had a small team of like two or three. Um, BJ was our chairperson for a long time. And he stepped down just recently because he's now being a bit more lazy. Um, 
<laughs> we were devastated when he when he left us. Um, but yeah, so we had Kat and we had Chandler who were on the board as well uh, on our team, on our staff team, and we did um, a lot of youth camps. Um, I say we did. I mean, we still want to do youth camps, but COVID has obviously uh, ruptured that for the time being. But we've been doing a lot of youth camps over the years. Um, we've had like 600 young people attend our camps for free, which is just phenomenal. And the whole kind of um, program of, of youth camps are just so amazing. Um, they're really kind of eye-opening for a lot of young people who attend and just get such amazing feedback from those events, don't we, BJ? Yeah, the events are, are really the hallmark. You know, it's bringing people together. It's, uh, it's letting them connect with each other outside of HDO. Um, you know, so much joy has been found in those camps. And I think COVID is a little speed bump, but um, yeah, I, I, I look forward to seeing more of that happen in the future. Yeah, we're, we, haven't, uh, we haven't booked anything, but we're looking at 2023 for the HDO to get back into doing uh, in-person events. So we're, we're very keen to do that. Um, so yeah, last year, obviously with COVID, we also did our first uh, Congress, which went virtual um, and was a big success. Uh, uh, this one's looking good too. We had 600 attendees last year for our Congress, which is just incredible. Um, our websites had over 7 million websites visit. So, you know, we're just absolutely thrilled about that. And um, the education videos have been viewed almost 3 million times now and it really is like on YouTube. It is, uh, no one else comes close to those kind of views for, for HD educational stuff. So we really, we really do a lot of things very well um, and we want to keep doing them well. Beach, anything to add? Yeah, I'm just excited for the future. Uh, you know, it's a, we all know HD sucks, right? There's nothing more we can say about it, but I think HDO is, is truly a light in the HD community, what's it, what it's offered, but also what it's going to offer. And I think we're gonna pass it over to, uh, to Jenna, the executive director of HDO, who's uh, been brought on in the past year to, to really take HDO to the next level. So uh, I'll just end by quickly saying thank you for everybody for joining. You know, there's so many people uh, who helped get HDO to where it was today. Um, volunteers, employees, uh, uh, supporters, advocacy organizations. So if you're out there, you know, a, a sincere thank you uh, from myself and for those who are on the team today, you know, thanks for continuing to, to carry the torch, uh, do what needs to be done for young people around the world. And yeah, I hope everybody has a great weekend. And, uh, you know, thanks for having me, Matt. Great to chat. Um, but yeah, really excited for, for the future of the HD community. And I echo that. Thank, thank you very much. And I'm looking forward to seeing everyone over the weekend. Let's go. I'll we'll hand over awesome. to Jenna now. We'll, we'll finish the talk. Thanks, Matt and BJ. So nice to see everybody today, even though I can't really, but I know you're there. I feel your energy and support. Um, my name is Jenna Heilman, Executive Director, and I joined the team back in August. And what a whirlwind it has been and such a warm welcome with the HD community when I joined and uh, had my had the pleasure of attending a, one event in person, which was amazing to do and excited to carry HGO into this year and, and beyond. So we just wanted to provide some highlights of what we've been working on, what we're looking at for this next year, and then end a little bit with some of the things that you can expect over this weekend. So our three main areas of, of HDO are support, educate, and empower. And so I wanted to go through how HDO can provide you support and supports the community. First of all, as been mentioned several times, uh, we have an amazing website. We just went through a rebrand this year, added some enhanced navigation, as well as some more interaction with the community to show on that website. We're in the process of, of translating some of those news pages, but we'll have 14 languages represented. Um, and we also have clear, direct ways to communicate with us if you need anything. So ask a question, um, ask for help, contact us. That goes directly to us and we can help understand where you need that support and help point you to local resources or some of our ambassadors or other people who are experiencing similar situations. It's nice to have that community of support around you and, and we're here to help with that. We also have two Facebook groups, one directed towards parents and one directed towards young people. So um, check us out. We will be sharing more information about that. You can also go to our booth in the exhibit hall where you'll see some of those links as well. But that's another great way to connect and understand that, that you are not alone. And that's really what we're here to do. 
We launched last year in partnership with HDSA and HSC in Canada, our youth mentorship program. This is a great way, um, it's US specific, but this is a great way to get that peer-to-peer -peer added support if you are facing any challenges or just need someone to talk to about what it's like in the day-to-day -day life of someone impacted by HD as a young person. And so you are paired with a mentor who has been trained and who also is partnered with a social worker at HDSA to help add that extra level of support and care. We are actively seeking um, uh, and accepting applications for both mentors and mentees. So if that's something that you are interested in participating, uh, please find out more information. We'd love to chat with you. You can either do that in the North American booth to get information, or you can also do that at HDO. Um, but this is a, a phenomenal program and, and we hope um, to continue to see this succeed as we, as we continue through this first year of launching it. We also work to educate the community um, on top of our website, which has a lot of different resources that are directed towards specific age groups and demographics. We also have some ongoing projects to really bring the awareness and level of, of understanding of HD and how it impacts young people through social media and other avenues online. Our first one is our Breaking Down Barriers uh, series. This is a series of videos and interactive sessions that really break down the stigmas surrounding Huntington's disease. These first two videos were launched in September and then in January, um, September of, 20, of 2021 and January of this year, looking at what is the, the clinical trial development and drug development process what is um, it like to go through uh, a research project? And so we featured two young people going through Enroll HD. And our next series are gonna include things like, how do you access clinical research and trials? What's it like behind the scenes in a lab tour? What's it like as a young person, care, as a caregiver and, and being a young adult and having those testimonials? And then also a series on how to speak to children about Huntington's disease. And so these are launched on our YouTube channel as well as on social media. And so please check these out. These are gonna be extremely insightful and we're so honored to have amazing sponsors backing us for this project. We also launched this last year, our research video series. This is in partnership with HD Buzz. And what we do is we take some of their articles and we break them down into about two minute long videos to share on social media. It's a really friendly format to get that education, to understand what's going on in the world of research. And um, again, we've had amazing, uh, amazing support for this from sponsors, from HD Buzz, and we continue to share this information because we know that knowledge is power and this is a really important part of that knowledge. And of course, what we're doing here today, you're going to see a lot of exciting things uh, this weekend with Congress. Um, these are our numbers from our last year, and we know that we're going to blow those out of the water this year because there is such a need to connect the international community together. And finally, Empower. We have our ambassadors that are across that represent countries across the globe. They're really here to help us connect to the community, help us um, help us uh, with new ideas, new ways of reaching out, and then also providing their top tips and support for a variety of different topics, whether that's caring as a caring for yourself, caring for a loved one, um, how to manage stress and cope with tough times. They provide these monthly tips that we feature on social media as well. And so if you are also interested in becoming an ambassador, we have two booths, again, our HDO booth, but then we also have an ambassador booth in the exhibit hall, and we'd love to welcome you and share some more details. And then we also have helped launch HD CAB, which is a community ad board in partnership with the European Huntington Association and the International Huntington Association. And this is really derived to represent the international community and help coordinate with pharmaceutical companies and our global advisory team to ensure that they are understanding the stories of those impacted by HD and how their drugs need to take that into consideration and help advocate for the entire community. Astrid Arneson from EHA will be presenting later tomorrow, so feel free to check that out as well. We also have new ways of getting involved. So through new ways of giving, through a new giving 
portal. Um, you can participate on behalf of if you wanted to run a 5K or a 10K and fundraise through HDO's platform. We have an easy way of doing that. So please check us out um, and, and contact us if you're interested. Volunteer, our entire board. Um, our entire board is a volunteer board. We have committee members. We have um, ways of helping spread awareness, being a sponsor. There are so many different ways to get involved. And so the important thing is that we'd love to have those conversations with you and help extend our reach and also help spread the awareness and advocacy around HD. And we also launched our, our Juvenile Onset HD Global Patient Registry. We're all gonna be having a session later today to talk about that. And we also have our booth about Join HD. And this is a great way to connect and locate different families impacted by JOHD and in, in, in the future, hopefully help facilitate future research based off of our collection of data. And finally, a huge thanks to our team. Again, we've got a small but mighty staff amazing board of advocates who want to help support everyone and you all. And then we also have fantastic committee members. Our, our, our Congress committee um, is, has really been working hard to make this thing happen today. So thanks so much for our team. And again, stay tuned for big plans for year 10. We're going to be launching things across the year um, for new information. So now as I wrap up, I know I've only got about seven minutes left, but just a little bit more about what you can expect over the course of the weekend. Um, we are so proud and honored to have more than 40 country, countries represented today with our registrants. We have speakers from six continents and a variety of different experiences and expertise. This event brings the international HD community together in a really unique way. And we all come from different walks of life. The one thing that unites us is being impacted by Huntington's disease. We know that the past two years have brought tremendous loss during the pandemic. And now the world has changed even more in the past two weeks in Ukraine and Eastern Europe. Our hearts go out to all who have felt or who are feeling any pain or grief. We are all here to support you. We also know that providing a safe place for all to commune this weekend is our main goal. There may be speakers from countries that you don't agree with their country's recent actions, but we all know that HD does not have any borders. We are all representing ourselves, our own journeys, not our countries, as we seek support, education, and most importantly, community. So we want you all to keep that in mind that this is an international event and that's what makes us even more powerful to bring the community together. Today, once you go into the auditorium, you'll be able to select the different sessions that, you can, that you'd like to attend. You can add them to your calendar. We have a jam-packed day filled with personal experiences, latest in research, panel discussions, and a lot more. So please take the time to look at the schedule, use those breaks to check out the different booths and lounge and chat with each other. We also are having a social media contest. So take a photo of you participating. You can use your photo booth submission and use a photo of your favorite session, tag HDO, and make sure that you use hashtag HDO Congress so it shows up in our social media wall. One big winner will win and we'll announce what that prize is a little bit later. Social media wall and photo booth. This is where all those posts are gonna show up. You can also have your photo booth. You can take a fun um, video. You can post pictures, use different types of stickers. We wanna bring the community together and show all of those people, those lovely faces who are participating since we can't all be in person today. We also have our leaderboard, which is a great competition. Essentially, the more, the more sessions you attend, the more booths you visit. If you do a photo booth, you will get to um, hit the tab on the leaderboard and see those standings and who's in first place. Our top place price winner will uh, win one of our new t-shirts that on the back of it, it says, ask me about Huntington's disease, a book from Erin Patterson, all good things that was just recently released. And then um, second place and third place will also get prizes. And after Congress, you're gonna be receiving a post-Congress survey. You can take that after Congress as well. There's a link on the top of the navigation and all of our sessions will be uh, recorded and placed on YouTube later this week. Um, those surveys are really important because we want your feedback and we want your, we wanna know how we can continue to improve and find and provide those resources and support. And if you need anything, please make sure that you stop by the HDO booth, 
stop by the info desk. You can hit the support button if you're having technology issues, but have fun. This weekend is for you and we're here to help. Awesome. Thank you so much to Matt, BJ and Jana for a lovely start to the event. I can see from chat, I think you're all engaging and enjoying it so far. So that's amazing. So now we split the event into two tracks. On track one, we will have Trey Gray sharing his experience of HD. And on track two, we have Dr. Jane Paulson talking about her study Prevent HD. We'll see you at the next sessions. And if you're unsure of how to get somewhere, there is an info booth you can go to for tech support. You will also see periodic announcements popping up on your screen with reminders throughout the day. So thank you from all of us and go and enjoy the next sessions. Bye everyone for now.